6th of August 2009. Yet more evidence that the financial system is gradually decoupling from the rest of the economy. The banks announced big losses yesterday and yet their shares rose. Wide-eyed pundits say this is because they know the worst is now over. Believe that at your peril. They rallied because they know the government would bail them out again. And sure enough, today they did. Quantitative easing to the rescue. The Bank of England is pumping another £50 billion into the banks. This brings the total already, through QE, to £175 billion. Over a third more. Does that tell you something? It should. £125 billion more than the whole annual budget of the NHS, has not worked. The sickness continues. This isn't the end. 10th of September 2009. I'm finding it more difficult to write these days because so many people seem to be buying the it's all over and the worst is behind us line. The problem is I can't convince myself that what I'm being assured is correct. I cannot help but see that what we are being told is best for us all is in fact only best for the financial class and their attendant pimps, priests and soup sales. Let's all watch the stock market rise and not ask who for. Let's all cheer as borrowing costs and the cost of insuring the debts go down, but not ask whose debt, and incurred for what end and whose benefit. Let's all feel relieved that a meltdown was averted and not wonder how the solution will be paid for. Let's not worry about what happens when the waiter brings the bill. Let's just listen to the voices telling us that happiness depends on the consumer spending again. Let's slip numbly into the role allotted to us, happy bovine consumers. Do you suppose cattle feel better not thinking ahead? Do you think they save themselves pointless fretting and lead happier lives by filling their minds with gratitude and warm feeling for the man who brings them hay and leads them to the place to sleep each night? I think they probably are happier knowing their future has been looked after by someone who cares for them and helps them and is, after all, so much cleverer than they are. Problem is, I'm just not happy being a cow. I just don't see it that way.